Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Treasure Hunting Sonic. This episode is going to be about the Sonic and Tails walkie talkie plushies that I recently got from the Sonic team member. This is the wrapping they originally came in. It's a classic 90s Japanese Sega Sonic artwork, which is always really cool to see. I know a lot of people, including myself out there, this is one of their favorite art styles. But as you can see, it's not in the best shape. It's very thin. Here's the box that the plushes come in. It says Sonic and Tails original Transba, which I'm guessing is I'm guessing is Japanese for transponder. Opening them up here, you see Sonic and Tails. And the first thing that reminds me that the plushes remind me of are those um, UK exclusive ones from the 90s. I think they were made by Tomy, I believe. But these are, I guess, factory samples because they still have the factory tag right here. It's handwritten. Shanghai Lights. I could be mistaken about that, though, so don't quote me on it. They have a zipper on the... Oh. Show the socks, the feet. The eyes are actually um, pretty unique, like the pupils here. They're actually painted on. Uh, you can actually feel them as you run your thumb across them. So I'm sure, like, if you were to scratch them or something, it would come right off. On the back we have a zipper, and that's where the walkie-talkie is, transponder, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I re I went this morning and put uh, got some AAA batteries to put in them. Each one takes three AAAs. And one of the first things that I noticed when I was changing the batteries, these uh, trans transponders are pretty hard to get in and out. It really puts a lot of stress on the fabric of the plush. I mean, you really got to pull it in order to pop that thing out. So if this, was, if this was something a kid played with, I could see it getting broken pretty easily. The antenna and the headphones both come out of the top here. Typical 90s headphones. Show you the tails. And this one was even harder to get out than Sonic's. So, here's the most interesting part about these plushes. In order to turn the knob that turns the transponders on and adjusts the volume, you have to stick your finger in their mouth. There's a hole in there. You got to feel around for it. Feel the, there's a knob. Turn it on all the way up. Hopefully you can hear that, the noise coming from the headphones. Just a static. I'm not gonna lie, I feel weird doing this. Now they're both on, you don't hear anything. And they do work. Uh, when my wife got home, we actually took them. I took mine upstairs and she had hers down, or she had Sonic downstairs, I had Tails upstairs. And we were just sitting there talking to each other on them. So I think what these were made for was for like, you know, a kid, two bro siblings, whatever, um, taking each one to another room at night when they slept. So you could like talk to each other when you fall asleep. That's like really my only guess. Or if uh, you're in your room playing Sonic 2 and your brother's in his room playing Sonic 3, you could tell each other some game tips or something or just chat. I know that um, one of these had sold before on Yahoo Japan. I don't know if they were just prototypes or they were actually widely released. Uh, the fact that only one other Sonic collector knows, had remember seeing those for sale on Yahoo Japan makes me think they did not get a wide release. Um, and especially, you know, this tag with the factory tag, I just, I don't see it. And if it did, I could see these getting broken very easily. But they are pretty cool, uh, to display. The box is very nice, the wrapping's very nice, and even these sitting on a shelf would be pretty cool. And I really like how unique the eyes are. They're, uh, they don't remind me of any other Sonic plush eyes. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
and I will be posting more of the stuff that was sent to me. Um, I know I did the unboxing video, but I'll be posting some more individually. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. See you next time.